Good evening, I'm Carol Larson. New here at 10, patients back to being treated in the hallways at Tulsa's St. Francis Hospital. The emergency room filling up as Oklahoma sees its highest COVID positivity rate since the start of the pandemic. Two News Oklahoma's Katie Kelleher is live at St. Francis tonight with the impact on patients and exhausted health care workers. Katie. This increase in case numbers, putting a side effect on hospitals like St. Francis, causing long wait times and patients once again being put in hallways. We're so tired and I know the community is tired too. Oklahoma hospitals once again at the breaking point as COVID cases surge. The state positivity rate reaching a pandemic high at 35%. The Omicron variant accounts for more than half of the new cases. All of this leading to a full emergency room at St. Francis Hospital where you could have a wait time of three to six hours. And you can feel that as patients, the waiting rooms, we have long length of stays, our hallways are starting to be utilized again with patients. The current number of hospitalized patients is less than this time last year, but there are still many who are sick. Dr. Ryan Parker, Chief of Emergency Medicine at St. Francis, says while they are seeing breakthrough cases, they're also seeing evidence that getting vaccinated will prevent serious illness. So I worked over the weekend and I took care of a couple of elderly patients that were boosted and even though they had a breakthrough infection, their chest x-ray was clear. However, in that same weekend, I took care of some unvaccinated patients who were still having severe respiratory processes and needing to be intubated and placed on BiPAP and have their respirations supported. The increase putting a strain on already struggling hospital workers. Dr. Parker says they're working with even less staff than before, but they'll continue to power through and take care of those who come through their doors. The thing about people who go into emergency medicine or critical care, or this acute care kind of um, at taking care of hospitalized patients is that we are very tough people and we know how to rally together and do what we need to do to take care of the patients. The hospital says they're seeing a lot of people come in asking for a COVID test. Now they ask if you do need a test, you go somewhere like an urgent care or a testing center. It'll keep their levels down and your wait won't be as long. Live in Tulsa, Katie Kelleher, 2 News, Oklahoma.